All right, guys, we're gonna start right in on the video here. So I was just going around and I was exploring, looking for new places, and I just came to the spot and look. That fish you see, that, that orange looking thing, that's a golden trout down there. I was just looking, just kind of going all around and uh, looking for spots to fish, and I just saw them down in the water. So that's a really nice sized nice trout. I'm gonna try fishing for them. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use some uh, just whole kernel corn. Open a fresh can. And I'm just gonna put a bunch of them on a hook. By the way, hi everybody. I was just, I was going along, I was trying to figure out where I wanted to fish, and then I saw that golden trout. And I was like, I gotta stop here. There we go. Look at that nice cluster of corn. Let's see if that gets them. All right, I'm just doing this weightless so it looks as natural as possible. Wait, I think he's going over toward it. He was thinking about it. He was thinking about it. I saw, did you see him like swirl underwater there? He's still looking at it. Oh, I missed it, missed it, missed it. I missed it, he stole the corn, he stole the corn. He wants it. All right, so got a taste of the corn. That's really good. All right, so now we just have to get him to take it all the way. Look at that, I got like four pieces right there. Got one. Oh shoot, it's not the golden trout. It's still a trout, but it's not the golden one. Look at that though, that's a nice one. <laughs> well, we got dinner, boys. Look at that trout, nice. Nice, nice, nice. Oh man, he wanted that one. All right, let's kill him real quick. Look at that. I am just loading this up with corn kernels. You can't even see the hook. Got one. Oh shoot. The golden trout was looking at it, but then this trout, oh, this is still a nice one. Look at that. Look at that. You know what I'm gonna do though? I'm gonna let this one go, because I already have some lunch. That golden trout was looking right at the corn. Oh man. All right, let's let this guy go. Let's try it again. There we go. Get him out there. All right, come on. I really want to catch that golden trout. That would be like the biggest one I've ever caught. What the hey? Look, I got a fishing line with all kinds of junk on it. You got spinners and split shots and we'll look at all that later. Got one. It's not the golden, but still, oh man. Another nice trout. Good grief. I'm just gonna release them over here again. I don't, I don't want to like put a bunch in a cooler and then, I don't know, I have a lot of fishing ahead of me today. I just started, so. Oh. There you go. All right, let's try again. It's funny, any other time I'd be super happy that I'm catching all these trout. But since I want the golden, I'm kind of like annoyed. He went right by it. He was looking though. Dang it. He was looking. He came right up to it. Oh, I got a little tight. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Let's get him right back in. Ugh. There he goes. <laughs> Guys, there is a massive rainbow down there. Oh, there is, I mean, a monster. All right, let's try this one more time. Guys, I got him, I got him, I got the rainbow, or the golden trout. Yes! Oh, dang it! Dang it! No! Look, there he goes. You know what? I didn't get a good hook set because I had so much slack. Oh my gosh. Well, that's the way fishing is. Well, the good news is, okay, I saw that big rainbow beforehand, so... So, we'll just try for him. 
Wait, wait, wait. Big, big one. Oh, guys, 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 there's an even bigger, I swear there's an even bigger rainbow down there. Bigger than that golden trout. <sighs> this is my, uh, what I've done is I put on a great big hook there and I put six kernels of corn. So let's see if I can get a big trout to finally bite that. Well, the golden trout may have gone off, but we have a rainbow down here that's huge. Got one. Still not the golden trout, not one of the big monsters that I really want. But man, another cool trout. Uh, he really swallowed this, I might be. Yeah, I'll be keeping this guy too. All right, guys, I'm gonna pack it up and uh, can't get any of the big fish to bite. So we're gonna just keep, keep looking. We're gonna drive to another spot. I have a good feeling about this next spot. <laughs> Guys, here we are, one of my favorite trout spots of all time. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful waterfall. A spring runs in right there. And usually it's supposed to be loaded with trout. All right, let's get set up here. All right, so missed out on the big fish so far today, but hopefully Hopefully this Rapala jerkbait turn. Hopefully I'll get a big one. tried to eat it. That's kind of crazy. Just crushed it. He's barely hooked. I got him off the hook first, then I'll show you. Look at that. On a jerk bait. That is sweet. I just boinked him on the head. I'm actually gonna bleed this uh, bleed this trout because um, uh, it's just a little bit bigger than other ones. It's gonna have a little bit more blood. That was really cool. When that that thing hit so hard and jumped. That was. That was really fun. That is, that is fantastic. I, I love fishing. Anyway, I'm hungry now. I also love to eat fish. So we're gonna go back and uh, let's let's find a little spot. We're gonna cook up these trout. Coming down here, we're now down to the main river. It's beautiful down here. Well, pretty beautiful. It's kind of dry, but you know what I'm saying. And then I actually have this place all to myself, which normally I don't. So I get this big rock, which is a perfect little table all to myself here. And you know what? I'm, I'm tempted to throw out a little fishing line here while I'm cooking. So, but anyway, let's, let's get cooking first. Our catch. Optimus Propane. Wind Guard. Frying Pan. Trout. Score the trout. Oil. Salt. Fire. Trout. Weber zesty lemon seasoning. Whoa. Seasoning comes out fast. Good nick. Spread it around.
add some to this side. I gotta try a bite before it's done. Look at that. That zesty lemon seasoning is really, really good. That's one of the best seasonings I've had. I um, I love Cajun seasoning. If you follow my channel, I love Cajun seasoning. But this, what do we, I mean, that's what it is right there, zesty, Weber zesty lemon seasoning. I'll put a link to that. Look at how light and flaky this trout is. Just comes right off the bone. There's no reason to me, for trout anyway, to fillet them because the meat comes away from the bones so easy. You don't have to cut the fins off or anything. The fins which are bony, look, they just pull right out all in one piece. Those bones are gone. So, we're not quite done yet. I still have another fish to cook, but I want to try something. Um, growing up, we used to catch a lot of catfish and in order to make the catfish meat sweeter, we would actually soak it in Sprite for about an hour. And what that would do is the Sprite would somehow take a lot of the fish flavor out of the meat and it would make the catfish, uh, the catfish just taste a lot sweeter. Combining that with recently, we started to poach some of our fish and one of the main ingredients in the water that we would do to poach a fish would be lemon. It got me to thinking and I was like, I wonder if you could just poach a fish straight up in Sprite and it would make it taste better. Now, I don't know, but we're gonna try it right now. Now, I have my deep dish here. I've switched out pans and I'm gonna open this Sprite and I'm just gonna kind of Fill this up with some Sprite. Then we're gonna turn the heat back on. Then we're gonna turn the heat back on. Free. What am I doing? <laughs> I, mean, I, I uh, turned the propane on and then my match broke so I had to get another match in that time a lot of propane <laughs> leaked out and filled up filled up around there okay i gotta be careful from now on things getting dangerous around here all right so let's add the trout to the brew here cut the tail off this one so it could submerge add some salt to the trout that sprite's good and hot it's heating it up there I don't know if this will be good. This might be an epic fail, but uh, I guess we'll guess we'll find out together. All right, I guess we can turn this off. Let's try it. Fish just jumped. Big fish. There are a lot of sturgeon around here. Hold on. Got to give a fair analysis. There is. A little bit more sweetness to it. Other than that, it's not much. It's it's slightly sweeter. The meat of the trout is. But it's none the right home about. Maybe if I put it on like really low, and I like cooked the trout for a long, like really slow simmer in the sprite, that probably would have been better. Check it. We just sit here and we have a big crawdad. Right down there. It's a big fellow. Oh, oh. Oh, there he goes. Got him. That's a red one right there. That is a really red crawfish. I would actually consider eating this guy, just throwing him in the Sprite actually, uh, if I had more time, but it's, uh, it's getting kind of dark outside, so. Just gonna let him go this time. And he has really skinny claws. He has big claws, but they're skinny. So I can't eat the claws. It would just be like a little bit of tail meat. So we're just gonna let him go. Guys, thank you so much for hanging out today. Don't forget to check out my merchandise store in the description below this video. I've got brand new octopus t-shirts just came out. Got crabbing shirts, Hawaii crab shirts, got catfishing shirts, got all kinds of cool things down there and adding new things weekly. Check it out in the description below. Thank you guys so much for hanging out and I'll see you in the next one.